Hello and welcome to another installment of Techs Helping Techs. In this video we're going to discuss the HST3000 and how to determine what firmware you have and if necessary upgrade your meter to the latest and greatest firmware. One of the major reasons to upgrade your meter is that JDSU has come out with new enhancements uh, through suggestion or on their own research and made the meter better and faster. So the major complaint that I hear from a lot of folks about their meters is that they're really slow. Well, some of them are running firmware from six years ago. So if you constantly update your meter to the latest and greatest firmware, you're going to notice the enhancements to the testing ability that you have and that your meter will actually speed up a little bit. So how do you find out what firmware you have? Real simple. You simply go down to the system button, the hammer and the screwdriver there, select that. And on your meter, it may be a little different than mine, but what you're looking for is options, revisions, and copyright. And in my case, it's number three. So I'm just going to scroll down to number three and then hit OK. Or I, I could have hit number three. And at the very top, it'll tell you the revision. So check with your corporation, or your SME, or your support team, whoever you need to contact to find out what is the latest firmware and how do I download it and where do I download it from. If you need to download the firmware, you'll download it to either a thumb drive or a desktop. But ultimately, you want it on a USB thumb drive because that's how we're going to upgrade the meter. Okay, so we're going to say my meter doesn't have the latest firmware. To upgrade your meter, real simple, I'm just going to simply go to the cancel button right here. And then you go to instrument. From instrument, you're going to scroll down or up either way until you get to where it says software update. Real important information here. The meter has to be plugged in to the power supply. You cannot do this off the battery. The meter won't even let you to attempt it. But you have to have the power plugged in. Please make sure it's on a desk or someplace where nobody will trip over the cord and accidentally pull out the power supply. Um, if that happens, it may corrupt the firmware and your meter may be shot and have to be sent back in. Uh, I've seen it happen a couple times, so don't take the chance. Make sure your meter is in a nice stable location and cords are out of the way prior to beginning. So you've downloaded the firmware, you put it on a USB stick. At, what you want to do is plug the USB stick in. Sometimes you can load it directly here without power cycling the meter. If it doesn't work, you'll have to turn off the meter and then turn it back on. Go back into system, instrument, and software update. From here, you hit the OK button. It gives you two options. Uh, you can do it through a WAN software upgrade, which I don't recommend. I've seen about 10 to 15 percent of these fail and have to be sent back in. And then you got option two, which we're going to try right here, is the flash update. So I go to number two, and then I hit OK. If it sees the firmware on the flash drive, it'll give you this option right here where it says press OK to start the SW update. If it does not detect the firmware on the thumb drive, obviously you can't upgrade. So th those are the times you may have to power cycle the meter with the thumb drive in it. And then it will actually recognize the directory and let you upgrade from here. Real simply, just hit OK. It takes anywhere from 12 to 18 minutes or so to actually perform an upgrade. The screen gets real small. You'll see a bunch of codes flying across the screen. And once the firmware is complete, the meter will shut itself down. And when you shut it down, it shuts down, you turn it back on, you can go in and ba basically go back to, cancel out of here, sorry, go back to the tools. So we'll go here and just verify what option and revision you have and make sure that the new firmware update has actually been applied. Pretty simple. On the broadband side, if you use this for broadband, it will, ha will have knocked out all your username and password information and put it back to a default status. Um, if you know how to clone, you can clone the images back in, which we'll have another video on that a little bit later. All right, so that's basically how simple it is to upgrade your firmware. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time, so I have a little patience, a good 15, 20 minutes or so, and then you're ready to rock. All right, thanks.